It may look like we're heading for a whole bunch of guess and check, and that is a way you could solve this problem, right? You could plug negative 32 in for B, try to factor it, and see if that works, where x minus 4 would be one of your factors. That's not the fastest way to do this one. The fastest way is to realize, if I were to rewrite this polynomial and set it equal to 0, and then factor it, Okay, I'm told that x minus 4 is a factor, so that means it must be possible to write this thing in the following form. Uh, here. Take a look at what I've done. I've rewritten this polynomial in some form like this, where there's that x minus 4 thing we were talking about, okay? And there's this other factor, ax minus c. Now, I have no idea what ax minus c is, okay? No clue. But what we should be familiar with doing from solving equations is saying, hey, this means x equals 4, and this one means x equals c over 8, right? These are two solutions to our equation. Now, let's forget about this guy over here. That's a little complicated. I want to focus on x equals 4. If x equals 4 is a solution, that means plug it into your equation, and it should satisfy this thing, right? I don't know what this is. I don't need to. Let's plug x equals 4 back into that top line. I get 2 times x equals 4 squared minus 3 times x equals 4 plus b equals 0. Now, if we crunch through the math here, we just get 2 times 16 minus 12 plus b equals 0. Let's keep working on it. We get 32 minus 12 plus b equals 0, and that means 20 plus b equals 0. That means b equals negative 20. So we have our answer right there. Now, if that seems like a little magic, um, well, it, it's kind of a sleight of hand that we just did here to get around having to factor this at all. I, I never needed to touch factoring for this problem. All I did was I took two pieces of information. One is that this is a factor, okay, and I said if it's a factor, that means x equals 4 must be a solution. I'm going to plug it in, find out what b is to make x equals 4 a solution. Uh, incidentally, if you're interested, this is called the remainder theorem, okay, this idea where you can just plug in a number like x equals 4, as long as you know x minus 4 is a factor, plug in 4 into your equation, and that will solve it and make it equal to zero.